In sports, money talks. And while there are guys out there who have signed hometown discounts for the teams that develop them, like Jose Ramirez, more often than not, they go to the highest bidder. It's what we've seen year after year, and is the reason why teams like the Dodgers can have such a prolonged dominance over the league. But there are three other elements that go into recruiting a player. Three things the Jays aren't necessarily looking the greatest in and could cause them to have a tough time recruiting this offseason. We saw after the Minnesota Twins series, the backlash the front office and managerial staff received for their decision to pull Jose Barrios after he was dominating for three straight innings. On the Foul Territory podcast, Whit Merrifield stated, Jose was locked in and I can guarantee if he had cruised through that lineup again a second time, that third time it wouldn't have mattered. His stuff was sharp. He was cruising. He had the competitor get out of my way look in his eyes. I think a lot of times that gets lost in the way we evaluate today's game. It's a shame. Whit was the only one that truly spoke his mind after the game and other players were saying they were just confused, but that makes sense. Witt is a free agent and it's pretty clear he's not coming back in 2024. So it's no wonder guys under contract didn't say much, but he did, and that's not a good thing. In baseball, everybody knows everybody. It's like a brotherhood and free agents who are interested in signing for the Blue Jays probably have Witt's number or could easily get it from a friend. If they talk, it'll be about the city, the players, training facilities, and all that stuff which Toronto excels in. But once it gets to how the organization is run is where things start to get hairy. Because as we mentioned before, Merrifield did not like how Game 2 panned out at all and would be more than happy to voice his true opinions on the matter, which may put some guys off on signing for the Jays. Not to mention, players that have seen Ross's end of year press conference know that it caused more outrage among fans, especially when he went on to say how he didn't know about the decision to pull Barrios, stating he found out with the rest of the world. Because A, there wasn't much accountability taken, and B, another disappointing playoff run. Which coincidentally brings us into our final reason why the Jays may struggle recruiting this offseason, and that is the recent failures in the playoffs. From 2020 to 2023, the Jays have made three playoff appearances, resulting in sweeps by the Tampa Bay Rays, although that was definitely expected. The Mariners, in which the Jays offense was completely shut down by Luis Castillo in Game 1, and then the infamous blown lead in Game 2. To this season with the Barrios decision, offensive blackout, and ultimately handing the Twins their first playoff victory in 18 games, putting the Jays on the wrong side of history twice in a row and a very poor playoff record the past four years, giving them a reputation of underachieving. Failures like these could easily make a free agent want to look away, and the fact that players leaving are not too happy means that the Blue Jays front office will have to do a lot of persuading to get who they want. And it's a shame because the Jays have everything else. Great location, recently updated stadium, a deep pocket, diehard fan base, and a state-of-the-art player development facility that even Shohei Otani has acknowledged. That wraps it up for this video. If you enjoyed, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Both actions help me out a lot and I'd greatly appreciate it. All right, I will see you in the next one.